The door's locked. Okay, well, we can't do that anyways. Uh, 201? Hey, there's a picture of a uh, good old Jesus. Uh, this is a replica of the Harmony Christ crown with thorns. It's hanging. Why do they have an old record deck? Oh, look at that. There's the uh, replica branches. No, no, this one here. Right here, what's this? Is that a scalpel? That's a scalpel. That's friendly. How about this guy here? The symbol there. Nothing. Dead body. Hooker in the underneath the bed. Anyways, you there. Oh, nice. I've asked for a room that once were used by a crazy woman with a child. She was in the newspaper. This, this place, place carries a bit. Fire the vessels. We've made a good friendship with Mary Woods. Mr. Why is he speaking English then? Pay more attention. I brought my telescope with me and we often observe Now I'm hearing ahead of the text. Mary. Mr. Woods doesn't appreciate this. And locks a dining room every night. But we have a spare key. We usually hide it in a toilet bank. Why do you tell this on my record deck? Just saying, it seems strange to admit this kind of thing for a future person who happens to be stuck in this. To find out! Convenient plot point. Go back. Alright, so that was, how about 203? Doors locked. In the bathroom, he said. A uh, small bathroom with uh, damage. You can see you avoid the facade. It smells horrible. You have to cover your nose to avoid the smell. Anyways, uh, there's the key to the dining room. Can I take the head? Damn it! There's a rotten head in the tub. Well, that explains the smell. Is that what happens when you take off your hat? By the way, this is a cross here. Completely... Uh, hey, I could turn it on. Turn it off. Stop wasting water. California would be mad. Flush. Can I flush the toilet? Can I turn on the water? Rinse, rinse away the sins? Alright, I guess that's it. Uh, go back. So we found a dead head. 203 is locked. Uh, how about the janitor's room? Locked dining room. Uh, a quiet, you hear a mouse squeeze. You have to move. Move on. There we go. Now can I go into the dining room? Which is going to kill me? Hey, look, a telescope. Okay, the answer to the telescope is... This sentence makes no sense. No, that's what he says after you solve the pest. Uh, I forget. You do it on Mars, anyways. So, uh, let's click on the only thing in the room. Telescope, please. Oh, what's this? Hi, jump scare? Yeah, called it. Effective, but still... All right, so there's the other one. Uh, anything else I can click on here? Nope. Hi, go back. Uh, go back to 201. Hi, baby. A new guest arrived yesterday. He was tired and promised to pay off to her plenty of sleep. I woke up in the middle of night because of the noise that was coming from the corridor. Mr. Woods was beating the, the shit, shit out of the new guest. It's turned that the guest was just in chunky. Mm, trying to get some monkey. In order to find some stuff there. Oh, where's it? I suggested the... to call the cops, but Woods said that there's no need to. He grabbed the guy and threw him into a dining room, then entered himself and locked the door. The next morning, there was no sign of a guy, nor the medkit key. But I we... still wonder where it might be it was in the soup because that's what the guy became uh can we pick you up okay maybe not so it was in the dining room was that the guy we saw there who died I have the scalpel I have the brush I have notes Dinner 201, back. Maybe with, oh, ceiling fan, uh, broom. You hit the ceiling, a uh, crack becomes, hey! You search his pockets empty. Scalpel? There we go. 
I mean, that's the logical thing to do. You are so messed up. But I found the key, which means I can progress. So, who's crazy now, huh? Who's crazy now? Go downstairs. Open up the medical cabinet. Okay. Why are they hiding film anywhere? By the way, pointing it out logically, the guy said he couldn't find the key to the medicine cabinet, yet somehow he hid something in the medicine cabinet which had the key inside of a... whatever. Let's forget it. Baby's gone. Who knows what's next? It's been a year since I moved here. I see all mm -hmm. dreams. Can't really describe them. 202 is being occupied by an Englishman, Nigel Weld. I am Nigel. Traveling around the world, learning things. Cokehead. Him to drive a formula that I never seen before. An accident happened during the experiment, and Nigel's face got all messed up. He uh, felt into depression. Well, and after Woods made a portrait of him, totally lost his mind. Sitting in his room, moaning only one word: handsome. After some time, he I'm handsome, damn it. O2. The only way to reach him was to use the phone. Is that what I have to do now? Go downstairs. All right, you bastard. Look, it's about personality. You're beautiful on the inside. I, it's your personality, man. I just want you to cook me some meth so I can make some money for my cancer treatment. Yeah. Let's go with that. Go upstairs. All right, 202 is now open. There's a portrait of him burnt face. See, again, I told you it's not that bad. Triangle. What the hell is that? Terrifying picture of a wall. You feel like you're being watched. Yeah, what's... Jump scare? Oh, that was weird. I was waiting for... Something has changed. Yeah, the picture's gone. That's... Ni... Jill. Fuck. Me. Up. The. Ass. And. Call. Me. Betty. Okay, so what's my notes say? A lobby key, med kit, back. Hey, I found a glitch. Triangle. You panic. All right, hold on. Where are you, Nigel? Help. Panic starts to beat you. Damn it, Nigel. What do you want? Damn it, I'm dead. Continue. From where? Fuck. How bad am I? I'm all the way back here. Hold on. Like, bad, bro. Handsome. Let's see if that's the word. So let's go to 202. Look at the handsome gentleman. Go back. Go underneath. Grab a flashlight. Go back. Go back. Uh-oh. Let's open up our bag. Turn that on. Handsome. Thank you. See? That's all he wanted was a compliment. You're welcome, Nigel. See? Look. You are complete two, seven, eight. Hold on. Let me ask. Or they might take notes for me, but I want to write it down myself because that's the way you did it in the old school. To back when you had puzzle games. Two, seven, eight, oh. I'm pretty sure they're going to tell us, but whatever. Is it here in the notes? Uh, no, it's not. So good thing I wrote it down. Okay, let's go back. 
So now what? Anything new in 201? Oh, why didn't I do that before? Again, 2780. 2, 7, 8, 0. Oh. Got it. Key to the janitor. And another... Let's see what happens this time. In the tale of the dark city of the woods. In... One, two, Jack testing, one, two, one, two. Mr. Woods know about your relationship with Mary Norman. Something bad is going to happen soon. I know that you love Mary, and that's why so, I will ask you to take As a gender, we had sex with the wife? High five. So who, wait a minute, uh, Norman, so Norman's a janitor who had sex with the wife. Janitor closet is the far one. Let's go to the janitor's room. A tiny room, flashlight, thank you. A picture of a naked woman, hold on. Ah, yes. Oh, he knows, flee, kill. Oh, there's one of his hats. Uh, I, Mr. Woods... Russell, Mrs. Woods pregnant again. Mr. Woods is being anxious. It must be because of a new visitor, tall, bright man from the south called Norman. He arrived two months ago. I like him. He used to leave a dollar for me every time I cleaned his room. He's searching for paranormal activities. He hears it'll be a great movie someday. Never heard this movie much, but Norman became good friend for Mrs. Woods... They used to walk in the woods together, looked, locked away in 201, listening to Norman listen to Frank Sinatra sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that, yeah, that sounded wrong. Hold on. <laughs> because if they were locked together in the room, apparently I wasn't the only one begging Mr. Woods. Uh, listening to Norman tapes, he owns a portable recorder. He allows me to listen to Frank Sinatra sometimes. Yesterday evening, I met him in the corridor. He was walking out of Mr. Woods' office. I saw fear in his eyes. He was shaking like a rabbit. I tried to talk to him, but he whispered, Get away from here. Save your soul. And I rushed through the main entrance into the night. Today, Mr. Woods told me to throw away all, the his, all of his stuff in room 201, but I persuaded him to wait until the next guest comes. I hope Norman comes back again. So we need a code for this one. Is it behind here? Again, all these symbols everywhere. Uh, is there anything underneath the bed? We have this rose. We have this symbol. We have two symbols here. A hat. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. The hat, the what's in the stamp? That means something. That means something. That means something. Hold on. The hat. Ah, is that it? Is that it? I mean, these three symbols. Ah, hold on. Flashlight again. Okay, because. Three, five, four. Four, five. Four is the middle number, I think. I'm going out of limb and saying that. Oh, there's five numbers. Damn it. And there's only four, I mean, only three notes. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Can you help me out here? What's the damn code? Bastard. 